seas. A raging river that plans to take life itself. Hey everyone, Paul from Model Shipbuilding. Well, the MLU is just about there now. I've um, just fitted two motors, uh, twin motors, for the um, paddles. And uh, I, I didn't do a live vlog. Um, simple reason is I don't think you'd appreciate all the swearing. Uh, <laughs> I had so many problems uh, trying to get the paddles in line with the main covers, both sides, trying to work out what sort of shaft I would use, trying to work out what motors I would use, whether I'd use a single or a double, so I've used two, a pair, um, both wide separate. Um, so yeah, I, as a game, I'm just going along, um, I've got no plans, it's all ad lib, it's just, as I go, I try and work out the easiest way and the best way to do it um, and it does become a bit of a problem um, and I've had the same setup problem coming up with the rudder I have searched every web page every site um, including um, magazines or um, suppliers there is just nothing online that can show you a straightforward rudder system for a paddle steamer unless you have the plan and as you probably already know me um, I don't do anything by plan I just do it by picture if I've got a photograph or I can get it online I take the photo of it print it out and that's how I do it um, so this is as close as I can possibly get it um, I've even gone to the trouble I'm ready to just pop this back on now um, I've put all the main deck back all together um, so it's all in one um, as you can see underneath there's the lighting switch so hopefully all this will just line up uh, it's nice and tight and um, it pops straight back in and then <coughs> Very tight fit because of the paddles. And there we go, just about there. I'll have to um, try and change a couple of the little ladders. There we go. But um, I'll have to trim, trim a bit more off here because um, this is the first time that I've actually put it all back together as such. And there we go. So nice and nice and tight. Fits, fits well, I'm sorry, you can't see it properly, you can only see me. And there she is. There's the Emily of a Chuka. Um, since I've seen you last, um, I've put on, um, I've put on the, uh, on the, on the bow, just move it across there. As the picture, if you have a look at the Emily, um, this has got to go on last. You can see I've all done all the um, oh, sorry, all the tables and chairs. I've even done the sign up here now. Frame that in. Um, you remember this? This is um, not a kit. Um, a lot of people think it's a kit. It's not. Um, it's hand built completely. So as I said, it's only going by pictures. 
the problem that I have had, and I'll just pop this back on here. I've even made the canopy as per the, the photograph online. Uh, the funnel, um, and I've done even the in the later model. It's a little bit different. Um, I didn't realise, but when you start looking at photographs, I've got photographs prior to 1982 when the Emily was put onto the dry dock and completely refurbished. It is an absolute beautiful vessel now. So I really am. I'm trying to get in contact with the with the um, organisers because um, I'd, I'd love to talk to them and and just see the. The difference now I've seen it online I've seen the video on it and it's just spectacular absolutely spectacular it's a new paddle steamer for um, for the Murray um, I'm tempted to do a very old one not the Pennsylvania but um, there's a couple of old ones I think um, the chap bought it from Adelaide it sunk he brought it down to a Chuka and only recently in the past few months had it there um, and I think he comes from interstate somewhere so I'd, I'd like to try and chase him up and it sunk again unfortunately and he just refurbished it for private use um, and I've seen the photos of it after he'd done it before it sunk uh, and uh, it was just beautiful absolutely beautiful I give credit to the guy they spent a lot of money on it, so I just hope um, that they've got it up onto the dry dock. I did see a film the other day, just a documentary, and I noticed that there was a paddle steamer up on the dry dock. I'm hoping, and for your sake, um, that was the, the old paddle steamer, and I'm trying to grab the name, I can't remember it now, but um, I'll have to look up some, uh, some local news. But anyway, here's the, um, the Emmy Lou. Um, so things like this, the air conditioning system is changed a lot. Um, you know, I've, I've looked at old photos and new photos, and that's the problem that I had. I was trying to get to. I've had new photos and old photos, so I've gone a little bit back to the older photos where there's no beds or anything inside here. It's just tables and chairs, and it's a little restaurant at the back. Um, but I've just finished the. Um, uh, if you can see them there, the um, I'll bring this down for you. But, um, all handmade, the fire extinguishers. That's just a piece of dowel that I've carved. A couple of little um, uh, shastic sticks at the end, and a piece of wire, and the life reels. Um, I've cut out of PVC. I haven't done the ropes yet. I'm not tempted to, to do that yet. Um, and I've done the aft and finished that out on the stern with the tables and chairs and fire extinguisher life reels on, on the rear which she has now and the wind um, protection on the new photos on the newer photos goes all the way I've just done it short you know I've, I've done I've, that's the sort of things that I, I have changed on the MLU, um, just small things. The benches are all allocated in the same places as before. Uh, the winch is all totally made up. I've done all that. So, um, and then of course the uh, I've got the paddles on now, um, and they're running. So really, all I need is the remote control system uh, with the receiver. Uh, and yeah, hopefully she's um, ready to go into the water. I have to seal underneath on the hull um, just to make sure. I've sealed all around here and this is still settling at the moment so that'll take 24 hours. So I'll keep my fingers crossed and hope that works and I don't get water up into the deck which will then go inside, inside the, uh, the hull. And that's about it, all the lights. I've done a little rope ties uh, as close as I possibly could and I did make one mistake I don't mind admitting um, when I did the the, um, the top deck just on here if you have a look at the photos 
I didn't realise only until a few days ago that they've rounded this off in this section here because they've got the big floodlight at the top which they're made, um, they're made like the old um, kerosene lamps that they used to have and uh, so I couldn't put them on. I was going to make some up myself again by hand and carve them out. So the um, unfortunate thing, I haven't got the floodlight up on the top. That's about the only thing I think I'm missing out on. But um, I think she's come up all right. I'm quite proud of her. Um, considering it's straight off, all hand built, all the planking is hand, hand, uh, hand done and cut. And uh, the lights, I've got the lights um, operational now, but uh, just small things, I can't fit all this, uh, the, the, um, the bow, I can't fit this canopy on until that's into a fixed position and I've got to work out how to do it. I'm not quite sure yet because of course you have to take this off, the, the whole top deck to get to the um, uh, control the battery, connect the battery and uh, away they go for the remote control. So there you have it. These here's the good old MELU. Now I've had a lot of followers um, and they've, um, they've asked me a few times if um, I can just show as I go um, the different uh, construction methods that I've used but like I said if I showed you when I uh, did the motors um, I think there was too much swearing uh, I wasn't in the best of moods believe me it was very tricky very fiddly um, I had to design my own axles um, design how I was going to mount the motors and to get them running true and it does it runs quite Quite, quite good. I'm quite happy with it. So now I'm, uh, I am working on the rudder system. Believe it or not, this is. Um, if you remember, quite a while ago, I said to, um, I said to you guys and, and girls, because there are a couple of girl uh, shipbuilders, model shipbuilders. Yeah, great, fantastic. Um, so, yeah, it's. I said, you know, never throw out your photocopiers. And the parts that I've used on this from the photocopiers and cogs and everything else that I've got and I actually bought from China, of all places. Um, thank goodness I finally got some orders in. I've used this part off a photo, off a uh, old photocopier. And what I've done is, if you can see there, I've just put a plastic lug in there you can see the small hole there which will be the main rod to the electronic um, steering mechanism and I've got two sections right down to the center and I've checked it all in as you can see it doesn't stick out at all and then I've glassed it I've just put a, a, a rough fiberglass over the top I've got to smooth all that off now and then what I'm going to do is because the problem with with rudders on on any of these sort of um, boats I'll call it a boat because it's not a ship but on these boats uh, you can't the, the rudders aren't actually connected to the hull um, and if they are they used to have the old, I think I mentioned it way, way back in uh, one of my first vlogs. I was going to do a chain mechanism. Uh, and that probably would have been a little bit easier. But, of course, this isn't. This has been revamped, this uh, vessel. So, what I'm going to do, I'll just show you there. I'll move that cup of tea out of the way. Get to have that in a moment. So, as you can see, the shape of the hull here, I don't want to start drilling into here because of your water level because your steering mechanism is a straight shaft so on another boat because this the hull here isn't it isn't um, very deep it's very shallow 
So what I'm going to do, and of course the rudder on all the paddle steamers stick out quite a bit because they don't just rely on the rudder, they rely on the paddles. So I'm probably going to work out um, when I get the electronics for this one is to do a twin steer, which meaning um, right and left um, propulsion um, operating at separate times. So um, I can turn it around a lot easier even without using the rudder. But I'm going to put a rudder on an electronic and it will sit in that position around about there. So once it's all smoothed over, and that should give it enough because I've made it large because they are very large if you've seen the paddle steamers. Um, some of the rudder systems are very, very large. And they, uh, they stick out of the water quite a bit too, which is surprising. So it's way below the hull, as you can see. It'll go way be below. Uh, below the the, um, the keel and hopefully I can position it and just put a screw and a bolt up through here and then just cover it and I'll just put a box in there it's only going to be a nut and a bolt and then a very very fine hole for the shaft which should probably be the same size as a um, uh, propeller shaft and I've picked up some really good ones they're very very fine um, I've had a shaft on the big ship that I built which is in the lounge room now um, and these are very minute they're very very fine but very strong uh, I had to cut one and uh, and then I had to bend at the ends to put onto the uh, onto the um, under the paddles um, up in here so I had to bend it and I've used the um, but the center of that I've, I've actually used pop rivet taken the rivet out and here they are here there's this the leftover of the pop rivet and I've used the head um, it's aluminium but they're glued in and I've just bent the end of the shaft over glued that in and it's tight as it, like it took me a lot of problems again you know a few cursing swear words to get that shaft in there nice and straight without bending it without damaging it um, but I, I got it done so that's um, thank goodness so no wonder I'm going grow um, yeah so I, I'm quite impressed and um, it's, uh, I've seen another paddle steamer. There's one on uh, online at the moment that someone's done, and it's absolutely terrific job. And he actually made it out of matchsticks, so about three months' work, or three four months. So this has taken uh, about two two months, two and a half. So um, I'm quite happy with it. You can hear it; it's no rubbing, touch wood, um, at this stage. So there you go. The um, the next little project I probably uh, I'd, I'd like to do. Um, I spoke to an old friend of mine. I hadn't caught up with him for years, and uh, used to go to school with him. And he was one of those lucky ones down in um, and the people in Victoria will know down in um, Painesville, Meetham. Uh, along the Painesville River there at the uh, at, at Mito. And I don't know how he did it, but he got hold of a bull's cruiser, an old bull cruiser, and done it all up. And it's just beautiful, beautiful vessel. So I only spoke to him yesterday, and I've asked him if he can just send me some pictures. I don't need plans, but if he's got plans, yeah, fine. And I'm thinking about doing an old bull cruiser. If you ever get the chance in Victoria to go down on the Gippsland Lakes and uh, you can hire the ball cruisers um, and uh, yeah, they, you can go out into the into the lake and uh, fish and do, do anything you like. You just, yeah, they just teach you how to, how to use the big, because they're quite big, quite a big vessel. Um, so yeah, I spoke to him and um, hopefully he'll get some pictures to me. So that's one, and uh, I've still got my head around the pilot boat. 
I'd still like to do the Queenscliff pilot boat. So that's another um, one on the car. Or another paddle steamer. But I thought this was going to be really easy. Really, really easy. And no, it, it's um, very, very tricky because there's so many components and so many small areas that you have to try and work out just by eye whether it's a right well it's not a right scale because there's no scale to it but you know just by eye it's, it's very tricky so there we have it all right okay i well, hope everybody's staying safe um and please you know subscribe and like and uh really appreciate it and uh thanks to uh the comments that i have had i've um i've even had a couple of phone calls so that's been really good and uh, yeah hopefully we'll catch up with you soon and uh, the next time I'm hoping we can get it out into the water and see how she runs so I'll do a water test hopefully next week so uh, we'll, we'll see how we go all right all the best from Paul stay safe look after yourselves bye bye like a bell cut.